All right, so this density problem is mercury metal. Hg is just a symbol for mercury, just like how we use millimeters of mercury. Same thing, Hg. Fills a graduated cylinder that holds exactly 22.5 milliliters. The mass is 360.0 grams, and what is the density? So each time, you know, write down what we know. What do we know? What are we given? We know that it's mercury. We know it fills the graduated cylinder, and milliliters is a volume. So we know its volume is 22.5 milliliters. Mercury mass, so its mass is 360.0 grams. So now we've organized what information is important in our G. Unknown is density, because that's what we're trying to find. E is what equation do we use? Okay, so then we are going to look at our equation. I'm gonna use our little triangle here. Okay, we're solving for density, so we're gonna cover up density, which means that density equals mass over volume, because it's like it has a little fraction bar there. Density equals mass over volume. S is for substitute. Density we don't know, so it stays a D. Mass is 360.0 grams. Volume goes in there for the V, 22.5 milliliters. And so I'm actually gonna put all three S's right here on one row so you don't have to rewrite. <laughs> we have it substituted in, and then the second S is for solve. 360.0 divided by 22.5. And that gives us 16.00 grams per milliliter because we always write our units down. Okay, so the magnitude is 16.00 from the calculator and our units are grams per milliliter. So we substituted, we solved, and now we need to do sig figs sig figs, 22.5, three sig figs, 360.0, one, two, three, four, because it has a decimal, four sig figs. So our answer, remember when we're multiplying and dividing is least sig figs, so we need three sig figs in the answer. One, two, three is all I'm gonna keep, so I'm just gonna get rid of that last O. 16.0 grams per milliliter, and I'm gonna box my answer.